Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the Rev and Evan channel. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our great content. Today we're checking out a Boss 302 Mustang. We're here at the Dream Giveaway Garage, and it is a dream because you can win this car. We're gonna talk about this incredible Boss 302 Mustang. We're gonna talk about how you have an opportunity to win this car, plus the money for the taxes. It's gonna be a great day, so come along for the ride. All right, so let's get down and dirty with this Boss 302 Mustang. As many of you guys know, the Boss 302 Mustang was introduced in 1969. It ran 69 and again in 70. Of course, Ford brought it back later on with the S197 chassis in 2012 and 2013, which were also incredible cars. But this car right here is super special. It's burnt orange poly, which is actually a Lincoln color. So the car was ordered by a Ford employee at a dealership. He wanted a Boss 302. He wanted it to be a little bit unique or special. So he put an order sheet in to have his car in a different color. Well, Ford actually kicked that back. They said, nah, we don't want to build that. But after trying repeatedly to get that color, Ford finally built the car, and this is the car here. The car has every bit of documentation, which we'll show you in a little bit, which is crazy. But what's most interesting to me about this particular Boss 302 is that it's actually decontented. You go to a car show, you go to uh, Cars and Coffee, you go to the racetrack, and Every Boss 302 has Magnum 500 wheels. It's got the slats in the rear spoiler. And for 1970, you could also got a shaker hood. This car doesn't have it. It doesn't even have a tachometer. It's like a bare bones car, but it does have the awesome 290 horse Boss 302. They all came with four speeds, so you know it has a four speed. And this one has the 391 optional rear gear. So as far as straight line acceleration or handling, it's got all the good Boss 302 stuff. He did go for the color, which is wild. It's got a bare bones interior, just an AM radio. And check it out, hubcaps on a Boss 302. When do you ever see that? Let's take a look at the engine. This car is a 59,000 mile example. As we said, it was ordered by a gentleman who worked at a car dealership. He owned the car the entire time. So you're getting a one owner car. If you put in the 25 bucks, to get the tickets to win this car. And then if you use my promo code, you get an extra set of tickets. So you'll actually end up with 40 tickets, 40 chances to take home this car. And if you're thinking you might have to pay the taxes on that, don't worry about it. Dream Giveaway handles that. They're gonna take care of the taxes. So the winner, boom, you get the car, you turn the key and you drive away. There's been almost 100 winners of these packages. Sometimes it's a couple of Corvettes, sometimes it's a couple of Mustangs, they're just giving away a couple of Mach 1 Mustangs. We'll show you a clip of that in a little bit too. All right, so I got my man Christopher Phillip here from Dream Giveaway. Chris, what's happening? Hi, nice Good to show. have you. So you go to dreamgiveaway.com and you'll see classic Mustang up in the blue navigation bar. And then you'll see right there, there's a the car that's right next to Evan. So you come down here and you've got to make sure that you use that promo code that Evan has been telling you throughout the whole video. And let's see if I can remember that. Evan. Yep, what are we typing in? Okay, so you put add code right here. Right. And you type it in, so you put Evan there, and then watch what happens. See, there's no bonus tickets here yet, but after you add the, the promo code in, now watch, now watch what happens. Oh, right, there you go. All those bonus tickets show up on your donation of 25 bucks or more. Some of the things I love about this car, it doesn't have a shaker, that makes it kind of unique even though Who's not a sucker for the shaker hood? The Cleveland style head, which Ford was developing for the Cleveland, the Boss 351 or the Cleveland engine. Well, this engine and this package and the whole Boss 302 was designed to go road racing. Road racing in the SCCA Trans Am series. Because if you think about it, if you wanted the hottest Mustang for straight line acceleration, you didn't get the Boss 302. You went for the 428 Cobra Jet and then later the 429 or maybe even a Boss 351. But what makes the Boss 302 so cool is that the 69 and 70 cars were actually built for road racing. They had to be under 305 cubic inches based on the SCCA rules. So they had to come up with a combination that was really good. The 289 was awesome in the 65, 66, and the 67 Mustangs, but in 68, Ford went to a 302. 
but I guess they realized the Windsor combination with the inline valve heads wasn't going to be enough, so they put these big breathers on there with a 780 Holley and aluminum intake for 290 horsepower, which ironically is the same horsepower level as the Chevy 302. But a lot of people will tell you that this engine will make more power than that Chevy. 1969, Boss 302 cars had the C-stripe, which is really sharp looking. But for 70, they went to a hockey stick style stripe. That one thing that's unique about these stripes is that they're reflective. Kind of like on the side stripe on the Mach 1, they did the same thing with the Boss 302 stripe. It looks really good. It just looks fast. So fast, in fact, that I can't look at it anymore. I just have to drive it. So what do you say we get in and go for a ride? a big holly. The holly, man, you can hear that thing opening up. Some lucky person is going to own this. That's pretty cool. Yep. What's the horn sound like? Okay. And as much as I'm a fan of the look with the shaker and the Magnum 500s, this is a car you just obviously have to leave absolutely alone. There's, there's no way that you can do things to this car because you just ruin the originality of it. It's, it's a timepiece for sure. It is. And the color is just really cool. So you really have a car that nobody else has, which is like makes it extra cool. You are digging this thing. It is. I know you because it's, it's original. You know, you've seen Boss 302s, not a lot, but you see them, but you don't see them like this. It was really built for a purpose, where a lot of performance cars, as cool as they are, are built just to be cool. This car was built so Ford drivers could go racing in the Trans Am series. And they actually won the championship this year, 1970, which makes it like extra cool, I think, if you own a 70 Boss 302. As cool as the 69 is, the 70 is the year they won the championship. Yes. And those guys drove back then, man. I mean, if you watch those videos back then and, uh, and see physically them working in the car, it's, it's incredible. In fact, we were just down in Sebring a couple weeks ago watching the, um, the SVRA which has a lot of uh, Trans Am cars, including a bunch of Boss 302. So we got to actually see and hear these things really run in anger and built the way they were built back then. And it's incredible to see the factory style wheels, engines, they're limited on brakes, and yet those guys were really getting around the track. And these things scream. Oh my God, do they have video so Ford restricted this engine with a rev limiter to just over 6,000 rpm so this is an engine that really wants to rev Ford rated peak power I think at 5,800 and change at 290 horsepower but if you would get rid of the rev limiter rev it up to 6,500 I think that 290 number probably becomes more like 330 or 340 let's see what's in here what's this we got touch up paint burnt orange metallic touch up paint Got a little zoop to her. Woo! <laughs> Pulls pretty nice. You can take this thing to shows, you can go cruising. Um, if you had some real guts, you take it out on track. I would. I know you would. I yeah. mean, this has less miles than my F 150. My F 150 is two years old. That's crazy. Oh man, Whew. that was so much fun. Cruising a Boss 302, just absolutely unbelievable. Survivor car, a true classic, one of my all time favorites. You're driving something that has heritage, it's got Ford heritage, it's got road racing heritage, and the thoughts that go through your head when you're driving this thing, you just wanna rip it. Cause you're thinking about George Fulmer, you're thinking about Parnelli Jones. You're thinking about ripping around Riverside. Now, taking a look inside of this thing, if you're a drag racer, this is a car that you'll really love because it's bare bones. It does have the console, but it doesn't even have a tachometer. I'm thinking at some point, the guy probably had maybe an aftermarket tack in this thing, or maybe he did. Just the bare bones to go fast, whether you're doing road racing or quarter mile drag racing. So let's say that you're gonna donate 25 bucks. Ah, heck. You just got your tax refund. Let's say you're going to donate a hundred bucks. Right. So you get a hundred tickets plus a hundred. That's two hundred tickets. You check out. 
and within minutes, after you fill this out, within minutes, those tickets will be emailed to you. Now, let's say you lose the email. It's okay. We've got a fancy computer that keeps all the tickets. <laughs> At the end of the giveaway, if you're right. the winner, you don't have to show us a ticket. We'll call you and we'll tell you that you won. So I got a couple uh, quick questions okay. for you. How long does this run? Okay. And then tell us a little bit about the charity. Okay. So That's it runs good. for 11 months. So it starts on April 1st and it runs through February of 2023. There's eight great charities. So every donation helps out New Beginning Children's Homes. They're a foster care system. Right. And then they give unrestricted grants to seven other great charities, including charities that you've heard of, like Mothers Against Drunk Driving and the right. National Guard Educational Foundation. Fantastic. In fact, all of those charities are right here. So if you ever want to hear about any of them, you can see them right here on our website. Yep, Honor Flight, which is a big deal. Big deal. Especially down here in Florida. Of course. And we're talking 100% of the proceeds go here, right? That's correct. 100% of the proceeds go right to New Beginning Children's Homes. And here's why. On your credit card statement or your check, you can't write the name of nine different charities. Right. So you write the name of one charity, New Beginning Children's Homes, and then they disperse grants to these other charities. That's how it works. That's fantastic. Man, if only I was eligible to win this. You car. are. You didn't All know I can that. put in two. You can do it too. But you know what? <laughs> Out of the goodness of my heart, I am not going to buy a ticket. I'll okay. let everybody else take the chance because I don't want to win this car. I want to give it to somebody who's watching one of our videos. And wouldn't it be the coolest thing if someone who's watching this video today wins this car? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been a great time coming out here. Thank you, everybody. This is so much fun, Chris. We had fun time driving the car, and I can't wait till you invite us back. Oh, and we're going to invite you back really, really soon. Thanks for being here, Rev and Evan. Thank you. <laughs>